Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Progress with Professor Mahamani. First of all, I extend my Teacher's Day wishes to all the teachers. Uh, wish you a happy Teacher's Day 2020. First of all, I thank all my viewers and subscribers for your overwhelming response. Uh, with your uh, wishes, so I reached uh, my channel, reached around 463 subscribers as on date. So uh, I am seeking your continuous support by subscribing my channel. Uh, please uh, give your feedback in terms of uh, like or comment. So uh, if you want any uh, video or if you want uh, any doubt, any if you need any clarification, you post it into your video comment box so that I will give either clarification or, or video for that. Please share this video to all of your uh, friends, those who are in teaching profession. Uh, friends, on the eve of Teacher's Day, I want to give a video about the uh, an LMS. Uh, this video uh, we are going to talk about easy steps to create Canvas learning, man uh, learning management system. It is Canvas LMS. So it is a free course website. It will be uh, act as a free course website. And uh, this uh, particular Canvas LMS, you have a lot of uh, additional features like uh, uh, you can uh, you have a provision to conduct online test and online assessment, online grading system. So these are all available. And further, we are the course file content, all the course file content, we are preparing for MBA, NAC, this kind of accreditation process, we will prepare a uh, course file in hard copy. So the whatever content available in the hard copy, same soft copy, you can make it and uh, keep it into the course file. So that can be exposed to the students also, so that students whenever they want, they, they will access that materials like uh, uh, syllabus, lesson plan, timetable and uh, lecture notes. So for, for example, if you are uh, taking classes by using PPT, same PPT you can upload it as a notes and uh, you can maintain the attendance and you can maintain the marks, grades, everything, uh, you can uh, maintain it and the results academic planners and the old university question papers and the internal question papers, all the soft copy, you can maintain it into the course website. So in this aspect, this uh, Canvas website, it is uh, very good, very good uh, for me. Uh, friends, I want to share uh, one more thing. So this, uh, uh, this LMS system I am uh, using since 2017. Uh, uh, the, uh, for using LMS, it is one of the criteria to get my award, yeah, state award. Uh, in the next slide, so uh, this is the my award certificate. So I got uh, the ISCE AP State Award 2018. So uh, this award is for best mechanical engineering teacher. This is awarded uh, by ISCE uh, Andhra Pradesh. It is a state award. So this uh, usage of LMS and the complete uh, implementation and the giving uh, access to the students. So these are all the aspect. Uh, so I, I, in the proposal award uh, proposal, I clearly described. So this is one of the reason to get the award. Uh, friends, I have one more award also. Uh, IUCE Showcase Award. So IUCE, I actually, uh, IUCE is a six months course. Uh, I completed in 2017. So there uh, they discussed a lot, a lot of teaching learning process and uh, creation of uh, course website, LMS management and uh, video lecture preparation. So whatever uh, work for the, on the eve of COVID-19, so for COVID-19 context, whatever you are doing, so I did in 2017. So the, these are all the criteria which uh, uh, gives the award, uh, the couple of awards to me. Uh, so now I am sharing my experience by using LMS. It's a very good software. If you are using this uh, software, students' uh, response it will be very, very good. So definitely they will appreciate your effort. And uh, the advantage for the students, if you are sharing any uh, material or any uh, uh, files, PDF files, any notes to the WhatsApp, uh, they will lose within a week because of overloading and uh, uh, students frequently they will change the mobile so that uh, frequently they will lose your materials. Once if it is available in the course website, whenever they want immediately they can access. And uh, similarly you can, uh, you have apps, uh, app also, Canvas app also. So through this app, they can access our course materials. Uh, if you go to next slide, so we have uh, benefits of Canvas. So uh, many LMS are there. So I, I, I used two LMS, one is Schoology and another one is Canvas. 
this particular canvas, we have a lot of uh, advantages. One is the online test conducting facility, the provision, and second one, uh, the course type. The benefit, we can uh, explain in the, the three criteria. One is assessment feature, the assignment quizzes, conducting online test grading, these are all the very good uh, features. And uh, coming to the content feature, uh, the course page development and module development, syllabus and files. So files means course page. So here all the course file content, you can open a folder and you can keep. And the communicating and feature includes announcement whenever you want to announce, uh, make any announcement to the students through the LMS, you can make an announcement. And the one more option is the discussions. So you give a topic, you give a topic uh, to the students. So that uh, that uh, online forum they will give, they will share their opinions. So through that we can uh, improve the students interaction and uh, the conference facilitating also there and uh, also there in the communicating features. So these are all the key benefits. And uh, so I am uh, I am going to uh, explain through demonstration. So just uh, how to log in the canvas and how to add the various data into the canvas portal. So this uh, this thing I am going to explain through the demonstration. So let us go to the demonstration. Uh, friends, let us go to the free canvas LMS. So uh, in browser window, Chrome browser window, I am typing free canvas LMS. So first link I am cl clicking. So this is for free for teacher. So that link only we are going. Just uh, you, if you click, it is going to this page. Uh, this is for school. This is for free Canvas account. So this is only for teachers, not for uh, other people. So here, uh, uh, right now you don't have uh, account in this Canvas. Uh, just go to sign up. So if you go to sign up. Um, uh, it, it will ask for a get a free canvas account so here you have another link also there i am a student so that uh, that part i will come later um, here just click uh, it's a free canvas account so free canvas account you will get a window like this it is asking many things so let us go to fill one so here you fill your name first name last name uh, then uh, you type your email then use organization type you select higher education so because your college may run both ug and pg uh, then why canvas so i uh, here you uh, already available by default it is available you select this i want to teach my course on canvas then uh, you type your organization name i am typing my organization name so here you type your phone number then here you select the job title teacher or instructor many are there you can select uh, teacher or instructor so you select your country India. So if you click uh, next, if you click next, uh, then uh, one more uh, navigating into another page, it will ask email ID, password, confirm password. So once if you are uh, filling this formality, so you are uh, uh, the canvas database, it will send an email to your account. So uh, email, you will get it like this email notification canvas for free teacher. Uh, so here uh, what to do here you click it so you uh, once you got notification immediately you click here to finish the registration process once if you click it so that your uh, registration id password this will be saved this will be confirmed uh, i mean finished or confirmed in the canvas database once you got a uh, confirmation so you go to uh, if you click this you will get, it will be navigating into this window so there you type your email id so give email id and uh, your ID, ID for the canvas account, same, so that uh, you, uh, you will not have any confusion. And here you can uh, give a password, so put your, already you given a password, password, retyping password and uh, you confirmed the password, everything is over. So now I am uh, typing email and password, I am going to my page, canvas page. Uh, so here first I am going into account. So already I created a page, one course I started. So here uh, you have account. Uh, here just click, click your uh, uh, photograph, just click your profile. So teacher, here you upload your teacher profile. So here you click, uh, click your, so that you will get an image. Here you can choose your photograph and give a save. So you will get a, you, uh, you will get your photo. So here uh, you can fill all the details. If you go to edit profile, uh, same thing will come. So here you type your name, then uh, here you pronoun, 
then your title right title title means uh, so here you can give it so uh, what is the purpose of this uh, course then contact so this detail available in setting page so here you can give it your uh, short biography i am giving my biography uh, then links you can give it your google scholar page so google scholar page you know um, you know google scholar account right just you paste it Uh, so there your research article your research credential everything will come just you copy this and you you paste it here so finally you give a save profile so after saving that uh, so your profile creation work is over so next you go to file so here um, uh, if you need any file if you, if you want to store you can keep it a folder so here you can uh, keep it a different folders like your profile pictures So everything you can show it. Uh, create folder. You just click folder will open. So you type a name. For example, uh, so if you want to uh, keep some guidelines, uh, uh, insert the guidelines, right? G U I D guidelines. So you click it, then uh, you select. and uh, here you can upload your file so if you click suppose if you want to upload your word file uh, or pdf file or anything you can you can upload it so this is the one option so now i am coming back from the file so profile creation files and uh, here you have a setting setting once uh, you will get it you will uh, put all your details already it is available so next we go to the dashboard uh, friends now we are entering into the dashboard so the account we finished now we gone to dashboard so already i created some courses instrumentation and control system and uh, this is the subject code i given uh, for you you don't have a course so you can click here start a new course here you give a course name like uh, production technology production technology here you can give uh, 17 ame that you uh, sorry 12 so here it will ask a private or copyright this is a private because you are creating for your student so that it will be a private one so you create a course so if you create a course you will get a new window so course it will be open so immediately it is asking module so module means uh, the number of unit for example production technology subject is there uh, you have a metal casting uh, you have a welding you have a farming you have a plastic processing so uh, sheet metal operation so many things are there so here you can create a module like this module 1 um, metal casting so you can uh, give a add module so the, it will go to module so five units are there you can create five modules some university you have a 8 unit so you need to create for 8 units so this is the way you can create your module uh, then after creating the module then uh, again you go to course so this is the course home so uh, so here in the within the course module or course you can set the submit the assignments also so you can select how uh, your plan so everything you, you have no academic planner how many assignment you are giving whether you are giving unit wise right uh, two units uh, after completion of two units we are giving assignment now similarly we are giving assignment so this is the lms students they will uh, prepare the assignment in word file they will upload you please remember that is the way we are uh, planning and uh, so here you can create assignment so create assignment um, so assignment name so unit wise if you are giving unit 1 assignment so here you type your questions right you type your questions and you can give a point how much point you are giving so then assignment then how many point display grade so uh, out of 5 suppose if you are giving 5 point out of 5 how much you are giving then submission type so you select online now we are in covid 19 students they won't uh, submit for hard copy you can uh, prefer uh, either text entry or file upload so better you can go for uh, text entry and uh, file uploads 
so that what happened uh, they will prepare in the word file uh, file in word format or video format straight away students will upload by seeing that uh, we will give the grading uh, we will give the grading so that grade it will go to the students account so again you give a attempt a student submission attempt so uh, students they will keep on doing updating updating so you limit it so uh, limited or unlimited so unlimited uh, uh, then again there is no problem so until closing of the expiry of the link they will keep on submitting if you go to limited they will ask a number of attempt you can go so you can give one or two so starting you can give two attempts so that if they made any mistake so they will have a chance then it is the group assignment so uh, here we are uh, giving common assignment not group assignment then you can give a create a peer review group also then uh, anonymous grading so uh, peer review means i think uh, uh, some of the courses like um, they are giving peer review so the uh, within the students they will exchange the files and uh, they will uh, they will correct correct themselves then again here assign so uh, this is for your complete course so uh, Uh, you are saying all your students here another important thing it's a due so what is the due date due date for this so up to that uh, that assignment link will be there later on assignment link will be disabled so the uh, how long it is available this link available from so this is the starting this is the end so finally you give a save so this is the way you can create your assignment so next i am going to going for a discussion so discussion means uh, friends now we are in uh, discussion so here you can put a questions for discussion so that students will discuss among uh, among them and they will keep on posting so this is the one of the way they are as ass assessment so uh, generally it is called as a graded discussion so finally here you will get the student uh, grading so this is available student wise right student name assignment total how much uh, they will get it so unit wise uh, you uh, they will get it next another important thing the people so how to enroll the people so here uh, i have only my id so already i enrolled uh, suppose if you want to add the people you click the people uh, here you can put it you can uh, add the people in many way one is email address you can login id ssi id so ssi so yes id so uh, here uh, you type so once the Uh, students is registered for your course from the uh, that uh, application form just copy and paste the email link so you can select the student you can select the course production technology already you created can uh, then you can can interact with the user in their section only so uh, then you can give it so uh, email id you enter it then if you give a next it will be added for example i am adding um, M Y T H R E Y A N Maitreyan six six at gmail dot com. So you give a next. So it is going to find the matches below. So it is not available. So click to add. So here you click to add next. so here you can go for add user so you can add people so that his name is added so here uh, it is showing pending that means uh, he uh, so far he is not verified so for this course is a student's role so here you can click and recent invitation if you send the recent recent invitation to this email uh, email id again he will get so he will get a email Uh, in this id so then if he is clicking then uh, again the pending will go he will be enrolled he will be added into the course uh, this is one way otherwise students uh, themselves they can enroll it that provision also there with uh, canvas website then uh, if you go to pages so for pages i don't want uh, spend much of the time so here uh, you can open it so here uh, give your title of the course so here uh, you give your course description so by clicking this window you can select the images and uh, here uh, paragraph header so whatever way you want to give it you can give it and the course page it will be there for assignments if you uh, unit wise if you want to give assignment unit 1 assignment question unit wise quiz unit wise uh, announcement so this will be available in the course page so you can uh, type so there here there is option only for teacher 
so this is for teacher and student you can you can get it because course page they need to view all the people once if you give save and publish immediately it goes to students uh, view uh, then uh, pages over file so next you go to file so file almost it is like a course file right uh, production technology course file so here um, you can unit wise you can uh, uh, maintain the notes unit one notes unit two notes so unity here it is called as a module so module one uh, notes suppose if you are uh, conducting class by ppt that ppt directly you can upload it so that will be the reference material for the students similarly you can uh, uh, add so this course complete details so course file uh, in ba inspection nac inspection we are preparing you now whatever data available whatever data available uh, you can put it like academic calendar uh, old question papers so all the information so you can open a folder right uh, like notes so another folder you can create like uh, for question paper old question paper academic planner lesson plan time table like that whatever you want you can do it so uh, you, you click here you can upload it directly if you upload whatever file suppose if you want to uh, your lesson plan is in the pdf file just select and upload it so all information it will be appeared this is like a file means it's like a course file okay friends this is the way we can keep all your course related information course file so whatever hard copy course file you are, you are maintaining same way you can uh, maintain your course file also so this is the uh, tab for adding the course syllabus so here you can uh, you can edit you edit so that here you can type you can do copy paste right um, so here uh, you give your syllabus in unit wise right and you can give the course objective course objective you can give it at uh, course page then course outcome there is another tab is there so you can give it uh, so instruction it will open you can follow the instruction and do it so now straight away uh, just click your outcome directly you can type directly you can type your the uh, course outcome then you can set for rubrics also rubrics means uh, you know uh, the add rubric just give uh, the way you are assigning so you can select the description criterion description criterion means for example if you are a paragraph question if you want to correct i am give, uh, suppose five mark is given principal i am giving one mark then uh, description uh, i am giving uh, one mark then uh, working i am giving another uh, two marks then finally remaining one mark it will be for advantages application so like that you can split you can set the mark so uh, this one while evaluating the paragraph question this rubric will help so you can create rubric also just click create rubric you can possible then another important thing i want to explain is the enrollment of quiz if you want to create quiz click here then uh, here uh, you, you will get a uh, details so uh, which unit you are creating quiz so uh, uh, unit one quiz so here you can give the instruction so completed section to attend so here you select a graded quiz practice quiz so whatever you are doing so you put a graded quiz so this is like assignment you are giving so here you can give the op options suppose multiple choice if you are giving the questions will be so answers will be shuffled then you can select the time in a limit also suppose time minute you are giving to uh, multiple choice question two minutes per question so here you can allow multiple attempts right uh, multiple attempts and uh, highest score it will be given you can uh, select it and similarly students to see their responses so incorrect questions will be marked in students feedback so that provision you can enable it then show correct answer so at what time at the end uh, you can uh, share, you can show so hide the correct answer if you want to hide you can hide it then quiz restriction so uh, like uh, you are giving a uh, access code so uh, so each and every notification you will send a access code if you create then going to assignment uh, this assignment assigned to everyone whether you are uh, giving the assignment to particular group or uh, to everyone so this is the due uh, due for uh, the assignment uh, this quiz so um, so here it's a starting date this is a ending time a date time so both thing we need to give so due means it will be give a date so here date and time so once uh, if, it, if it is completed you can give the saving save then uh, question creation you can go that you can go to new questions so here you look at that multiple choice question true false fill in the blanks fill in the multiple blanks multiple answer essay question file upload question text uh, typing so all all the questions 
you can give it so this is one of the biggest greatest advantages of canvas here so multiple choice question if you select multiple choice here you fill the correct answer so here uh, you can give it option 1 option 2 option 3 then option 4 if you want you can give a option 4 also then um, you can save it you can save it or you can give save and publish if you give save and publish immediately it will go to the students page so once if it is created you give a notification so click notification automatically students will get the notification so this is the way you can create a quiz and uh, at the end of each and every topic for, uh, for example two classes once you can conduct some at least you give five true or false question match the following question you give some multiple choice question ask them to practice then here the module already we discussed right uh, how many number of units equal to number of modules then there is a provision for conferences also if you need if you want to conduct it is possible and finally this page you can maintain the students attendance also there is a separate page it is available uh, attendance for this particular course and finally another important one is the setting so setting uh, here you can select your course or choose image suppose uh, this course uh, production technology course is there now you can choose some image so here uh, due to copyright issue i cannot uh, choose any image so course uh, course is there course code is there right time this course when you are starting when you are ending semester course means you put the starting date and uh, end date here you select the uh, language which language so file storage 4096 megabyte it is available so here uh, license it is a private already we enabled that so here uh, look at that how to enroll the students suppose uh, you can invite by email otherwise what to do you can go to so, uh, students self enrollment center uh, self enrollment through the code or you can give the uh, join the course link in the course home page so here so this is for uh, for teachers and students you update the course so that what happened at the end you will get the course code for example here you will get the url this url students can directly enroll otherwise students uh, what to do so this is the course code it is available students uh, straight away they can go straight away they can go to their uh, student page so here it is available i am a student i am a student so here they will type his name so i am a student means selecting student it will ask a student's email id the join code you can get it from here this is the code uh, students will paste here then uh, they will put the student password then confirm password select submit so that students uh, manually they can enter into our course uh, let us see the students view uh, in students uh, page what are all the information available so here you have a course we are in course link so far we have seen all those things now the you select the setting page in the setting page already uh, we created the manual entry of students everything same page it is available here uh, there is a students view option just click so in students uh, page what are all the information available so here uh, you look at that home discussion grade people pages syllabus quizzes conference collaboration so these are all the informations available whatever information we are uh, putting so uh, it will be available here so right now uh, i am for uh, demonstration so um, i am giving similarly if you are putting your detail so detail will appear here so this is the way you can create the course file i mean uh, course lms so uh, i think uh, they are, when compared to other lms this is uh, very useful uh, more advantage uh, you can um, uh, put a course website like uh, like uh, course data uh, course data uh, many numbers are uh, many things are there so again if you want to come out leave students view again it will navigate into your course page so um, uh, here your course files the files you can create a course the quizzes uh, you need not go for google form and other thing directly you create a question bank from the uh, question bank you can conduct the quizzes so directly marks grades it will be saved so that all information you keep it whenever you want to take a nva instruction or anything directly from the lms you can take a printout and put it into a course file so that the course file creation work it will be that effort it will be minimized moreover uh, this information these uh, things it will be very very useful to the student center 
so with this i i conclude my video uh, once again happy teachers day thanks for watching